Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, I got another video for you guys. Uh, this one is regarding a few questions I've had about the MAF sensor and if you can clean it without removing it. And to answer your question, yes you can. But if you're gonna do a more detailed cleaning, then I would recommend that you remove it uh, just to do like a kind of good inspection to see how it's performing, uh, to see what it looks like, and to see if there's any kind of like oil leakage anywhere. Uh, also, another reason to remove your MAF sensor is so you can clean that throttle body. That throttle body has a plate with a little opening at the bottom and the top, and that lets air in during idle. And what happens is you'll get a buildup over time. And so that buildup will clog the inlets and it'll lead to poor performance, bad gas mileage, all that kind of stuff. So if you remove your MAF sensor, you can get to your throttle body, you can clean it, and then that'll lead to better performance, better gas mileage, and you'll be a happy driver. Uh, some of the things that I like to use are these two items right here. This one in the red can is electrical parts cleaner. The gray can is MAF sensor cleaner. They're both really great. I recommend both of them. Um, this one, if you're gonna stick to cleaning electrical parts, uh, which is something that I do, uh, whenever I disconnect any electrical part on the car, I always clean the terminals and the connector pins. Um, this one's more for MAF sensors, but they pretty much do the same thing when it comes to cleaning MAF sensors. So, yeah, don't spend 20 minutes uh, at the auto parts store trying to figure out which one you want to buy. Um, I would say buy both. But if you're just going to stick to cleaning your MAF sensor, then either one's fine. You can just buy one or the other. And yeah, so going back to cleaning your MAF sensor, yes, you can clean it without removing the MAF sensor. Just go ahead and stick that little red needle that comes with the can onto the tip, spray it through the mesh screen, and hopefully that solves your problem. Uh, remember to wait about 10 to 15 minutes before you turn on your car or start the car, just so that that liquid from the electrical parts cleaner or MAF cleaner kind of evaporates. Uh, you don't want to get any kind of electrical shortage. Uh, that's another good advantage to removing the MAF sensor is that it kind of has more air circulating through it so that it can dry out faster and usually by the time you install it and put it back together it's evaporated and everything's dry so just be careful uh, when you do spray it from inside the car you're not going to remove it to wait 10 to 15 minutes so i hope that answers your question everybody uh, yes you can spray your map sensor without removing it uh, just remember 10 to 15 minutes hey guys different day but I just wanted to remind everyone uh, for cleaning the MAF sensor, make sure you disconnect the little connector uh, on the side. That way there won't be any electrical shorts or anything like that. And as for this sucker right here, I'm gonna show you how to install it on another video. So stay tuned. See you guys next time.